639 Labs pre-workout review. This is Dave with Mission to Muscle, and we're gonna go over today. 639 Labs pre-workout. This is sour gummy candy. And this is supposed to be an all-in-one pre-workout. They designed this so you don't have to buy a bunch of things to be stacking together for your training. So we'll go over the ingredient profile in a second, but I wanna go over the scoops and how much this is gonna cost. So this is a, at a one scoop dose, it's 25 servings, which isn't bad. And if this delivers, it's about $60, which if it delivers that all in one, uh, those all in one effects, as far as like a well-rounded pre, that's not a bad price. Um, one thing that I want to go over is the scoop is a flat leveled full scoop is only 22 grams. And at one scoop, it's supposed to be 29.3. So if you heap the scoop, you're gonna get that 29.3, and you should have a scale. So if you haven't invested in a scale, invest in a scale. I have the one I have, I have the link to the one I use down below. You can check it out if you want, but you should own the scale with some of these pre-workouts. So we'll get right into the ingredient profile. I'm gonna put it off to my left. First on the list, we have BCAs at a 2-1-1 ratio at five grams. That's what you want to see BCAs at a 2-1-1 ratio. Now, What's the deal with BCAs? So I'm not gonna get into like arguments, BCAs, EAAs, there are BCAs and EAs. I'm not gonna talk about when and where and what and how, what's the best way to take them. But studies, we'll talk about studies. Studies have been done on taking BCAs before training. And BCAs actually help reduce domes, with the, which is delayed onset muscle soreness by blocking the enzymes that actually cause it. The other thing that it does is it controls the level of tryptophan in the brain or the way the body produces it, keeps it low and so it doesn't spike high, which helps curb hunger and it actually helps fight off fatigue. So there are benefits to putting it in a pre-workout, taking it 30 to 15 minutes before training. Studies have proven this. Then we have beta alanine at five grams. That's for more reps, more sets, and that's for the tingles, and that's a big dose of beta alanine. Then we have alcitrulline, Diamalate at a two to one ratio at five grams. Two to one is gonna give you, this is for the pumps and the endurance all in one because the, the L-citrulline in this is gonna give you the vasodilation of the pumps. It's probably gonna be about 3.5 grams and the rest is giving malic acid which is gonna help with endurance and power output and energy coupled with other ingredients in the gym. Then we have creatine HCL at three grams. Creatine HCL, creatine mono, creatine blah, blah, blah. I don't really care which one you take. They both work as far as the way that I've I've experienced in the past, creatine mono is cheaper, so they put the more expensive version in here, and there are benefits, supposedly, there's very limited studies. It's supposed to be better on the stomach, on the, on the intestines, as far as gas and all that stuff, and it's supposed to absorb better. I don't know. I've taken them both, and I've had good results with both. And it's a good dose, three grams. You're not gonna need any extra creatine. At five grams of BCAs, you're not gonna need any extra BCAs before you work out. Then we have nitrosogen at 1.5 grams, and this is gonna help with vasodilation, and pumps, energy, brain function, quite a few benefits that come with this, uh, rebuilding the inner walls of the blood vessels. Then we have L-glutamine at one gram. Now, I'm not gonna talk about when you should be taking L-glutamine, how much you should be taking L-glutamine. If you guys have any questions about that, you can leave it down below. But glutamine has benefits taking it before training. There's been studies. And if you didn't know, uh, glutamine is the most abundant amino acid in the body and controls a lot of, has a, has a lot into the functions of a lot of aspects of cellular health, cell regeneration, tissue repair. Basically, it helps with the nitrogen shuttle. You guys probably don't care about this stuff, but it's in my head and I'm gonna give it to you. The nitrogen shuttle, which actually helps grab uh, ammonia and shoves, shovels it in between tissues and cells and helps them rebuild. And it also helps with in, in the production and the the production of ATP from ADP and a few other things in the body. So very good ingredient to have before training. So one gram is decent. Then we have Vasodrive AP at 300 milligrams. This you can take between three and 500 milligrams. 300 is a low dose, but it's not a low dose. It's right in there. That's gonna help with vasodilation and pump. This is a casein peptide, really good ingredient. Then we have acetylcholine at 250 milligrams. It's gonna help with brain function. A little different than alpha GPC. Uh, alpha GPC does help with cognitive function as well, but it helps with power output and endurance at certain levels. Acetylcholine just kind of like helps with processing. Like it's it's not really going to help in the gym with your training, but it's going to help mentally. Then we have caffeine and hydrous, 200 milligrams. That's nah, not a bad dose. That's like a 
What is that? That's an everyday pre-dose right there, right? So then we have dicaffeine malate at 133 milligrams. It's gonna yield 100 milligrams of caffeine, which is 75% caffeine out of the 133. And that's gonna go on top of the 200, which total you're gonna have 300 milligrams of caffeine. Perfect for a daily driver, especially when 100 of it is dicaffeine malate, which is gonna trickle in. So basically during your training on that two hours, you're gonna be hit with the caffeine anhydrous first, and then you're gonna hit with probably about, I'd say 50 milligrams of caffeine for two hours slowly, it's gonna come up and kind of kind of keep you elevated. And then afterwards, it's gonna come in with another 50 milligrams of caffeine and keep you elevated. So you dial down really easy. Then we have dynamine and theocrine, both at 100 milligrams. And these are very interesting ingredients. Theocrine is actually the first cousin to caffeine and dynamine is the first cousin to theocrine. So they're all pretty much molecularly similar to each other. And these two ingredients are supposed to uh, have mood elevation, supposed to have energy, supposed to have uh, concentration and focus benefits. The one nice thing about these two ingredients, throwing these in into uh, a pre-workout as a stimulant is they did studies on theocrine especially where they gave people theocrine for seven days straight and they never acclimated to it. So it didn't affect their system, didn't affect their adrenals, didn't tax the central nervous system. We'll get right into this real quick. So let's start talking about it. 639 labs. My experience on this, so I took this and um, I'd say about, it's got five grams of beta alanine in it. So I was expecting to be like, okay. So I thought it was gonna come in really harsh, but it didn't. So I'd say about five to 10 minutes in, it slowly, I'm, just, I'm telling you, slowly starts to creep in. And it lasts for about an hour as you go down the train. And it's just this kind of like subtle, long lasting, you know, it's light feeling from the beta alanine. So I never, uh, three times I took this, I never got hit really, really hard. And then after, and then after taking, after that 10, 15 minutes, then the energy and the focus I'd say about 25 minutes in, start to dial in. So it starts to creep up. And, I, and today when I was sitting there, I was like, you know, I can actually kind of like feel it creep up. So very smooth. So when this dials in for you, this is not your slap you and get you going like TJ, TJ refers to. This is not like to hit the ground running like I refer to as far as at a certain point, the shakiness, none of that stuff. There's no alpha yo in this thing. It's super smooth and comes in and dials in within about 30 to 45 minutes. Now I wanna talk about the energy on this. The energy on this is comparable to a lot of high stem pre-workouts, but the energy is different. So you have sustained energy for two hours. It's not a kind of like you're moving fast or anything like that. Theocrine and dy dynamine actually give calming energy effect. So when you have the caffeine and you have these coupled with it, it's more of a like, when I hit the workouts, I'm just like knocking the workout out, out and I'm going from set to set, but I'm never like exhausted. Like I'm not exhausting myself by breathing heavy. I'm not missing a beat. Everything is just smooth and controlled going through the workout. So when I, this, this is a good everyday pre in my opinion. This is very, very good. Now, what I love about this is the mood, concentration, and focus. And this gives great mood. So I like products that give you a good mood. So I listen to music because it helps with my training and it helps get me into my world pretty much. And this is the type of pre that actually has got me kind of like grooving to the music when I'm on the treadmill. It's got me dancing around, you know? Yeah. And I was noticing today that the mood and the focus and the concentration is really similar to one high stem pre that, that I like, and it's called Phenom. And I like that one because it gives me good mood, gives me the focus and the concentration. You're not gonna be disappointed with the focus and concentration. It's a dialed in. Now, I'm not gonna say it's just like a high stem junkie pre with these illicit stimulants in it, but it's, it's up there. It's really, really up there, and it, it, it's really, really good. Now, we all wanna know, Pumps, how are the pumps? The pumps are actually pretty good. I, if I had to, to rate this, I'd say the pumps are about an eight, an 8.5. And that is really, really good. If not, if not higher on, on the scale here. This, to me, energy, focus, and pumps all dialed in. Now you're not gonna feel the BCAs, you're not gonna feel the L-glutamine, but 
having an all-in-one pre here, they have everything really well dosed. I think this is a fantastic uh, pre-workout. I've already recommended it to a few people as far as for an everyday driver, if you're not a stim junkie. This is going to stay with me for days where I want to come down and I want to have like a nice smooth training with a nice focus and nice ease off and just feeling healthy. I really like this. I don't have any discount codes for you or anything, but I'm gonna get a link to this site because I appreciate when a company comes out and they really put a lot of thought into it. And I can tell these guys had a passion for bringing you something that works. And 639 Labs, you did a really good job. I respect you for that. Thank you for sending this over to me to try out and for my subscribers. Great, great workout. I'm gonna get off to finish my training. You guys have a good one. We'll see you next time.